Hi there, my name is Susanne Bohlmann, I'm the film director and this is part of the wonderful film crew of the Pink Elephants documentary. I thought, okay, we will see, um, maybe a nice documentary. But when we started the shooting, it was extraordinary. It was um, clear from the first moment that this is something important. This was not about acting, this was about life. Honestly, we thought they were mostly cracked pots filled with nuts and bananas. <laughs> For me as a cameraman, I think um, this whole Pink Elephants project is um, maybe the most intense and overwhelming experience in my life. Um, I wasn't there when filming was done. And when I first saw the footage, I was like, okay, uh, this is what they're doing in acting classes. Um, because I was really impressed by the intensity. And for me, it was like um, watching an orchestra improvise just with vocals and soul and playing different songs at the same time. The, the questions we asked ourselves before we uh, started all this were, is this a sect? Uh, is it filled by extremists? Certainly when I spoke to a lot of the, uh, the actors in, in Los Angeles, uh, serious players in, in, in Hollywood, uh, they seem to have faith in him, uh, and I use that word uh, because there is a, a possibly a sense of uh, religiousness about the, the whole situation. On our journey to Hamburg, Paris, London and Los Angeles, we met extraordinary people with unbelievable stories. The, the pressure of being successful, the pressure of being someone and uh, what is right, what is wrong, this is all coming to every one of us uh, in this society. And I asked myself uh, um, many times, um, what is my way? What do I want? And this was uh, all in these master classes somehow. I got to interview um, Oscar winners and professionals at the top of their game. But I found that all of them had the same basic motivations as anyone else in this documentary. When I witnessed individuals walking in there, crawling around on the floor, laughing, crying, snot and tears all over the place, hugging, shouting, screaming. It sounds pretty crazy, I know. Uh, but you saw some people come out of there, many people come out of there, feeling completely bulletproof. What we'd like you to help us with is to put this incredible piece of potential cinema in front of an audience so that you can make up your own judgment. Maybe we'll, we'll learn something about our compulsion to be accepted and the desire to be part of a surrogate family or how these things can be manipulated by a charismatic demigod or perhaps we'll just learn something about hope. Uh, however uh, you judged uh, what he said, it was compelling. It was compelling. Yeah, there were moments when, 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 when I had the feeling that I that I'm too close to it, that I'm that I'm some kind of invader, trying to steal something which is very private. It was sometimes uh, 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 hard to hard to stand the situation because it was um, going from the picture directly through my eyes, into my heart. And the answer was, okay, be who you are. And to find who you are, you have to, I don't know, do stuff. You have to cry, to scream, to laugh, to tell uh, stories, to hug people. I noticed this is something uh, important and something new in a way. And um, I felt proud to be the director of this project. Um, I, I found myself being drawn into it. And if I can be drawn into it, I felt that probably everyone else could be drawn into it. Would I do the class? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a question I posed to myself several times. And um, maybe um, I wouldn't have the guts to do it. All around the, the people and the stories and you don't know where to focus on because uh, it is all at once and I want to, to transport this feeling actually I had and I, I saw it in the faces of my film team um, 
it was a new experience and I want to show it to an audience. Uh, because everything in life changes you. And even if you put barriers up to protect yourself from change because you don't like it or you feel that it's undermining who you've become as an individual, uh, then to some degree you've changed. In the end, you have to decide what you think about everything and um, about your own life. Please help and be a big part of something, no matter how you end up seeing it, important to the question of what it is to be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.